are you? So today I'm here with another back to school DIY. I'm doing so many back to school DIYs this year. I hope that you guys are loving them because as you guys know, I love making them. So today's video is all about DIY book covers and I mean old school book covers with the brown paper bag. This is what I did when I was younger and this was before like book socks existed. Like I think probably all the way through fifth grade I was doing the paper bag covers. I very distinctly remember like being on the floor with my mom and her helping me do it. Uh, so it actually sort of brings back some fond memories. So I don't actually show you in this video how to make the book cover with the brown paper bag, but I am going to include on the screen now and in the description a link to a video that will teach you how to do it. Super duper easy. If you have a brown paper bag, any kind of paper at all, you're going to be able to do this. One of mine I want to be a white cover, so I just went to the store and bought a big piece of white paper and it worked perfectly. So what I will be showing you in this video is how you can take that traditional brown paper bag book cover and turn it into something super cute, super customizable. Once again, this is another one of those DIYs where you can make it totally your own and you can change the colors and the designs and really whatever you want. It's just a very basic idea that I share with you, that way you can make it exactly how you would like it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So this first notebook is just a little bit complicated, but hang in there, I promise you can get it. So what you're going to need is glue, scissors, some colored paper, and then obviously your covered textbook. So you're going to start off by just taking a pencil and your textbook, and you're going to mark where you want your two pockets to be, because we're gonna create two pockets on the front of this um, book. So then you're going to take your first paper, the one that you want to be the bottom pocket, and you're just going to line it up and make sure there's a little bit of extra space on both sides of the textbook for the paper so that you can fold it over and then you're going to make that same marking on the second piece of paper that way you can make sure that your pockets are going to be the same size. So then you're just going to make a really quick rough cut where you just marked it doesn't have to be perfect or anything and then you're going to line it up with where you want that pocket to be and make a mark along the bottom so that you can know how large the pocket needs to be. And once again, you're just making a nice rough cut of that. And then you're going to repeat that same exact process with the other pocket. And then you wanna use the first pocket to sort of create a template for your second pocket. Once again, that way they can be the same size. So then you're going to want to take your paper and start making a very clean line along the sides. That way you can see exactly how big the pocket needs to be. And then you're going to fold those pieces down in nice crisp lines. This is going to be the area that we're going to apply glue to. That way you can actually stick the pocket to the book cover. So you're going to do that on both sides, just like this, and then you also want to do it along the bottom because you need a place for three strips of glue to be able to go to hold this pocket secure. And then obviously you're just going to repeat that same exact process with the other piece of paper. So you're going to want to start off with the larger pocket, the one that's going to be on the bottom, and I'm just taking some glue, and I'm using a paintbrush just because I wanted it to be really precise, and I'm just adding some glue onto that pocket, sticking it down, and then holding it there until it feels nice and secure. You wanna let the glue get a little bit tacky before you take your hand away, so apply as much pressure as possible. And once you have that down, you're going to add glue to the second pocket, and then go ahead and put that one down right on top. And because of the way we're doing this, the paper will still be able to slip right down to the bottom because you're creating those little flaps. So it won't obscure, like, you know, glue down to the binder or anything. So to make our edges nice and clean, I decided to add a little bit of washi tape to the edges. I just didn't like how they looked a little bit unfinished and this made it look really nice and super finished. So this is totally optional, but if you want, you can go ahead in and add some washi tape. Once you are finished with that, you are finished with the book cover. I think this one is so cute and super convenient. You can keep so many things inside those pockets and I think this one would be great for classes. So this is book cover number two and it's probably my favorite I think. So what you're going to need is some sticky pearls, two paint colors, some sponge daughters, and once again your covered textbook. 
So I'm starting off with these little sticky pearl pieces and what I like to do is put two on the ends and one in the middle and then apply two pearls to the middle of those and then add pearls in between each of those and this sort of helps to create a really like evenly spaced pearl distribution. I just find that it's the easiest way to make them as evenly spaced as possible. So once you have that done, you're going to take your two pink colors, I'm using pink and white, and you're just going to get them on your little sponge dotting tool, and you're going to just start adding polka dots. And you might notice that there are going to be like some bubbles on your polka dots. Don't worry about it. When it dries, those bubbles pop and like it, nothing, it, it doesn't do anything to it. So don't worry about that. I was a little bit worried about the bubbles, but it was okay. <laughs> And once you're finished with that, you're already done with this one. This one is so easy, it's so fast to do, and I think that this is beautiful. It's just girly and just like has this wonderful girliness to it that I just love so much. And this is our very last book cover. This one is so cute. So what you're going to need are two paint colors, some scrap paper, a paintbrush, sticky letters, and um, a covered a book just ignore the styrofoam I ended up not using that so <laughs> so what you want to do is line up your scrap piece of paper in sort of a diagonal line along your book and then you want to take a heavy book to put on top of that paper and then you're just going to take your paint colors on a paintbrush and just start randomly brushing the colors on and the reason why we have that paper there is because it's going to help create a nice line so it's sort of going to cut off the color where you put it there and you just sort of want the colors to look random and splotchy and I think that's what creates the coolest effect here. And once you're finished with that, you can go ahead and pull that paper off very carefully. And as you can see, you get a pretty clean line there, which I was really happy with. And then I have these gorgeous, sparkly, sticky letters. And I'm just going to put my subject of this book on there. So that was math for me. So I'm just writing math right onto this textbook we, with these sticky letters. Can I speak? Probably not. And you're already finished with this one. This one is so easy to, I think that it's so cute. The sparkly letters are like to die for and you can do whatever designs and colors or whatever you want because that paper is going to create a clean line with whatever you do. And that's it for this DIY back to school video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm actually going to be back with another back to school DIY on Saturday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That one's a little bit more like organization goal oriented. So I know that you guys always love organization videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, I still have a ton of back to school videos coming your way. My back to school videos, I just finished planning them and they're gonna go all the way through until like the second week of September. So there's still tons more ahead of us. Also, if you make any of these DIYs, make sure to tweet me a picture to at Jason Morelli with the hashtag DIY with PXB. I always retweet all of the people who make my DIYs. I follow them, I respond to them. Um, and also just in general, I'm constantly doing follow sprees and DMing people. And I reply to pretty much every single tweet that gets sent to me um, unless I don't know why I wouldn't I like do I respond to all of them <laughs> so make sure that you're following me on Twitter that way we can be pals I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye so guys I'm curious what has been your favorite back-to-school video so far and what video would you still like to see there's totally still time to leave requests for back to school videos because I'm gonna do them like until I'm out of ideas for back to school videos. So um, leave an answer to both of those questions down in the comment section. That way I know what you're loving and what I'm lacking and we can fix the lacking and keep going with the loving. <laughs>